I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Novak Djokovic, he's probably looking at the Paris draw at the moment and thinking, it is mine for the taking. But an interesting matchup here today against Karen Hatchinov, somebody who has defeated Djokovic in Paris before. Back in 2018, they met in the final and Hatchinov did grab the victory. And quite an impression of that. And he defeated him once in 10 attempts. Uh, so a 9-1 head-to-head. And they did just play recently in Astana. And Djokovic won very comfortably in straight sets. How are you, JG? Yeah, not too bad. I don't know if it's just me. It was Ben cutting out. Like, I can hear some of your words, but not all of them. I think the mic's on, but it just seems to be maybe the internet. Um, but regardless, let's get into this match. Like you said, it was a final not too long ago. I don't give Hatch another hope in hell. I really don't. But saying that, I didn't give Tommy Paul much of a hope. And look what happened. He beat Rafael Nadal. The difference is that one, if we're being ent- entirely honest, without being any bias at all, was always going to be closer than, in my opinion, this one. They played the other day. Djokovic leads the head-to-head 9-1. I just can't see anything else but a Novak Djokovic straight sets victory. And I mean, I'm not even giving Karen a a set today. I'm really not. I feel the same way. I feel that Djokovic now, this is his tournament to lose really now. And we've seen some of the great players who have gone out already. Medvedev tumbled out. I feel like his main competitors now, probably looking at Alcalaz or Felix, they're the main two left in, I'd sort of say, You'd, you'd be fancying their chances to get to that final now. Uh, they'd be between those two. But Djokovic, hot favourite, reigning champion, and 90 titles to his name, as they pointed out just in the uh, little bit of footage just before the match. <sighs> Can he make it 91? Getting <laughs> close to that 100, isn't he? I still think Felix is the biggest threat over Alcaraz, over anyone. I know people are probably saying, can Felix beat Djokovic? Probably not in terms of the played few times. He's never really come close, Felix. I actually think Felix is going to be someone who could go and win this event. I mean, he's just won Basel. He won Antwerp. He won the one in Florence as well. He's just not really dropping sets even. Uh, Beat Jules Simon very easily straight sets today. Holgorun in straight sets in the final. Beat Adkaraz as well in Basel straight sets. I think Felix is the one to watch more than anyone. And I, I for one, really want to watch Djokovic Felix. If we can get that matchup, I think that is the ultimate indoor hardcourt matchup we can get right now based off form. And in the preview, we was a bit stuck on who we're going to pick, Felix or Daniel Medvedev. We built, both went for Daniel Medvedev because he's done very well historically at this event. <sighs> It was a big mistake. We should have stuck with the informed Felix. And I'm really regretting that decision. I just hope Felix can keep going through the rounds. And I want to see a Felix Djokovic match. Would that be a final if we get it? Um, I think it I think it would be, yeah. Because yeah. it would have been Medvedev in the final. So yeah. yeah. Um the only problem that I would think is is Felix gonna be burning out at some point? David was saying, I was watching the stream earlier, he was saying that Felix looking a bit laboured around the court. It, despite winning comfortably, he didn't look with uh, like the same amount of energy that he's had uh, in the in the past few matches. And that worries me. Maybe that Mikhail Ema match took a bit out of him. It was a long match. It was what, nearly four hours. Yeah. So that's true. You've got to take that into consideration. Djokovic has just been cruising through his service games, game to loves nearly every time, and not really playing long on court, which is going to help him in, uh, come the end of this tournament, that's for sure. Yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying, but still, I think Felix is young. I think he'll be all right in them situations. Uh, but let's focus on the match and shout out to everyone who's joining us today. Over hey, 100 hey. people in. If you haven't already, make sure hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. We've got Gary and, of course, the big Djokovic fan. Gene's probably around somewhere. 
Uh, we've got King of Just as well saying Hatchinov has no chance. He can't run or hide with a no lay, no lay, no lays in the live chat. Um, like it. No, I, I definitely agree completely. And I'm just looking at Djokovic's outfit because Gary tried to claim on the rapper stream that Djokovic is, is, is a nicer one. I like the trainers for Djokovic uh, as well. as I like both their trainers, Rafa's and Djokovic's. I think that they're, I don't know, they're quite simple, but really nice looking. I don't think it's a bad one, actually, for no. Novak as well. I, I don't mind his, but still Rafa's one does eclipse it in terms of outfit. And you may be surprised to know, I actually really like hatching off. It's a nice little pink. Oh, that's a bit of Liam, that one, isn't it? <laughs> Not a bad one. Salmon, salmon, salmon. Pink. They're definitely salmon shoes that he's wearing. Hopefully, they're not slipping around all over the court, though. Nice pair of salmons. We've got Beta in. We know why. Hey. We know why. He's got a lot Morning. of money rides on this one. How much is it in total? 35,000 or something? Or 3,500? Well, well, 35 if all of it comes in, Gosh. I think. $35,000 yeah. if Djokovic wins, Eager wins, Eager wins and Kachikova wins the double. So we'll be. Well, we'll be praying for you, Beta. Yeah, definitely will be. It's a very exciting time for you. And you must be more excited now that all of these other players have started dropping out. Other players not looking quite so good. And Djokovic, it's clearing the way for your bet at the moment. So quite like the sound Imagine of Eager's the one who lets you down. Nah, come on. Coco Golf, maybe? Big match up for her tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sarker? Is he still finishing bottom of the group? <laughs> well, a bit late He's not going to win a match. It's <laughs> <laughs> top of the group. Good, isn't she? Two wins out of two. Flying. Sarker was the last player to qualify and the first to go through. Little stat for you. There you go. Handling last the Last in, first, first through. Maybe she plays well in front of no people, better than others. Maybe there really? is less pressure on her because she's normally buckles under the pressure of the crowd. So yeah, maybe no... no no crowds, no problem. Oh, Djokovic jumping into that backhand. Yeah, it's a good Go, jump. a nice up. forehand. Hatchinoff is looking all right here. And then he goes long. Jinxed him. <laughs> he's got to right. get I mean, he's, he's some good ground game. strokes from, from Hatchinoff, but no, if you've got a... finds they... himself in trouble early on. 15.30, Djokovic threatening an early break. A little bit safe. I think they're good, good shots, but they're not out of the reach of Djokovic. No, he created some good angles earlier, but I don't think that's always the good good idea against Djokovic to create too many angles. Because all it means is they're going to come back with an even fiercer angle. Yep. And Djokovic now, look at him, oh, no. finding his form. It's hard to look past him, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why you ever... doubted him, Ben, the other night. I don't know either. I'll never do it again. You're saying yeah. Raffle's going to beat him, something like that. <laughs> I imagine. I think that was. Oh, it's a good lob. Oh, Ooh, good Hatching rally. Hatchinoff is not playing bad at all. It's a really long rally, this one. And Djokovic is doing what he does best. This one's going to be on a highlight reel if he can finish it off. And yes, he can. Novak That's steps too good. in. Forehand cross court, two break points. The crowd applauding. They're getting their money's worth today. Some great tennis. Yeah, Peter's coming to an eager may lose to Garcia today. Well, Garcia playing well. <laughs> Garcia might win it. It's, she has a chance. She's if she's back again. I remember yeah, in she... the preview, we both agreed that she is the one who we think yeah. is the weakest. Yeah, in form. But if she comes back to that other form, she's one of the strongest. It's she probably a... wins it. I think it's between her and eager. Or Ons. I mean, Ons beat her in um, the US Open wow. when she was looking great. Oh That's my a nightmare God. matchup. She's got these back as well. Oh, good oh, slice. Rose, oh, Rose, so oh. unlucky. Great she slice from Hatchinov. Short in the court and it hit the top of the net and just pulled it wide. One break point save, 30-40. Look at this great. one, Ben. That was a brilliant slice, though. And was that landed in if you didn't hit the net? I think it was. Yeah. So unlucky. Almost perfect from Novak Djokovic. Well, he's still got another chance at a break point here. It is 30-40. Hatchinov escapes that one. Just I mean, Hatchinov must be thinking, I'm losing here today. There's just nothing I can do. Just don't want to be in a round. Yeah, he's really. pulled it wide. 
Oh, and Hatchinoff yeah. does not want anything of this. No le, no le, no le, no le. And Djokovic is probably quite literally laughing right now, not just in the button. He's probably laughing in real life as well, thinking, really? This guy is going to be able to stop oh, me today? So good at serving and the ace down the two. It's a thing of beauty. How many times has he won it in Paris? Six, is it? Or five? Yeah, I think it was six. It's a lot of times. The yeah. king of Paris. It's funny because Rafa's also the king of Paris, but on a different surface. That's it. Annoying that you can't translate that Paris joy over to the indoor hard court. Just goes to show it's maybe not the place. It's more about the actual <laughs> conditions and the surface. Most definitely. Be interested to see how far Tommy Paul goes now. Oh, look brilliant. at that. It's brilliant. It's just a little a little whippersnapper of a <laughs> shot. <laughs> no back lift. Just There's no back lift at all. The... Just like a flicked one into the into the corner. That's not even an orthodox tennis shot. Just phenomenal. Yeah, I like that. I like that Djokovic racket as well. I'm a big fan of. It looks what the nice. head? Yeah, it looks it looks really nice. Look like the fade. You've got one like that, don't white. you? Not the black and white though. Look. Yeah, but it's similar. Your racket. Similar, but you got the Coco Golf one, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably why I'm not playing. <laughs> that's what I'm playing. <laughs> it's not your time of year. Yeah, maybe. Well, it's got to I a thought... slam final or two. It's true. But this Djokovic racket, I don't know if I would warrant having a Djokovic racket. I've always had a Rafa racket, the Babbler. Oh, he's overcooked that. Yeah, the old Babble. But the, the latest one I couldn't afford. I mean, it looked a bit too... It's like 280 or something. So I just stopped. It's a bit much, isn't it? Yeah, the Rafa racket, mate. I think it's what you pay for. He signed it or something. What, what? <laughs> Look, they are expensive tennis rackets, especially if you want one of the top of the range. Great serve down the tee from Djokovic. Decides to go into the forehand of Hatchinov there. Just manoeuvring him around the baseline. Weird if this goes to juice. It seems like Djokovic is. Oh in my control. gosh. Hatchinov gets there. Djokovic goes back the same way and Hatchinov flicks it into ah, the net. The forehand chop. I've been there many times. You've just Poor lost Karen. options. Karen just was running out of ideas. He was running around the court and Djokovic, 10 minutes played, consolidates the break. Yeah, and if you are joining us, you're not going to probably be here for a competitive match, but what you will be seeing... <laughs> is an absolute masterclass. And I actually like their matches quite a bit. I find it not yeah. very... I don't find it boring when you watch someone on a surface who is so good just rip apart an opponent. And it's not just done from serving. It's done from playing tennis, playing the beautiful game, moving them around. And Djokovic at Paris seems to have that aura. Same with Rafa, Roland Garros. Same with Federer at Wimbledon all the years. Djokovic as well at Wimbledon, you can say, especially more recently. Um, it's great to see a real specialist on his specialist environment. And he's just happy there. You can just tell he plays so... He can't play any better, I don't think, no, about Djokovic in Paris. And it's a, it's a sight to behold. And I don't mind watching him obliterate opponents because it's quite interesting to watch. Very just me? interesting. No, I, ever since... Uh, after the US Open, when he wasn't able to play, he's just looked incredible on the indoor hard court. It, all those tournaments, he, no one's even come close, really. Well, Medvedev, I mean, I shouldn't say no one. Medvedev did uh, nearly beat him, 
He was pretty much one shot away from getting a match point, but then hit a volley into the net from on top of the net. And so, unfortunately, he didn't beat Djokovic and then pulled out injured after losing the tie break. So that's as close as it's come, though. You have to really push him. I mean, it's like watching, it's like hiring a painter and decorator in your house and they're just very skilled at their job. And they, you can just see them. They can do a room in about 20 minutes and it's just excellent. Nothing round the the edges. They've perfectly painted everything white. And it's just a, it's a sight to behold. I mean, another example is you. It's like watching you in AR. Like there's not many people who can do it better. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, quite like no, that. For those who don't know, Ben does so going to get on the regular and he is just one of the best at it. I thought like, you were there's not say, many other people you, who could do a better job than Ben. I thought you were going to use an example of me making buttons, but then you went down the finance <laughs> route. <laughs> that's like, great. I was well, like, I was like well. yeah. there's not anyone like who can an make artist. a better button than Ben. I was like, yeah, but just like an artist, just like in finance. <laughs> it's a financial artist, I feel. Well, you are. You're great at it. I know. Just a natural. Like a duck to water, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go, into the rally. Djokovic looking for a bagel here. It's Love 15. He's in a rally as well. Hatchinoff doesn't know where to go. He's playing down the middle of the court. Hatchinoff does the same. I don't think he wants to create any more angles. Djokovic steps in, oh. goes the other way. It's yeah. absolutely perfect. Love 30. The bagel's on the cards. And the crowd are entertained. They're not bored. There was one saying... Uh, the, when I used to work at a, a debt collection company, which I didn't really like working at, to be honest, but I have still followed that sort of pathway. Um, they always have one saying in this company, which was polite persistence breaks resistance. <laughs> and maybe that's what Djokovic is doing here today. A bit of polite persistence with these shots. Just keep on pushing them around and Hatchinov will break. His resistance will eventually break. <laughs> So God, I love that. He's using a bit of AR in the streams. That's it. That's it. We've got Milos as well, who's also inspired. He said, hey, Ben, I do AR as well. Nice to know a fellow artist. <laughs> That's it. So a few of you. If you do do AR, give us a shout in the live chat. It'd be great to see <laughs> a few more of Ben's, <laughs> Ben's minions. Yeah. I like to call it artificial reality. <laughs> 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 We've got Kevin in saying, Ben could chase down our <laughs> Uncle Bone. I could. Would you Used catch to work. him, though? We've got Beta saying, do you think Felix or Arlcrest can beat Nole in the final? Of course, Nole's got to get to the final yet, but if he is, it looks like he may be able to get there the way he's playing. Um, I think Felix is a bigger threat than Alcaraz. I'm putting it out there right now. That's part of me. You cannot go away from the form of the fact that he's the best indoor hardcore player in the world right now. He's just been, I mean, you can't deny that. Well, Alcaraz might be, I feel, I agree with you on that. I feel Alcaraz may be fresher than Felix. He looks like really good against say Dimitrov. fresher, but he's suffering an injury at the moment, Alcaraz, mm. and he's playing through it. There's part of me that just thinks... I think he's a bit burnt out as well from the season. There's part of me that thinks that when we were, you know, when we were looking <laughs> at the uh, Tennis One's prediction, Patrick yep. from Tennis One, and he said... We're going to go Alcaraz and Djokovic in the final. Yeah. Something tells me that's going to happen. because I don't know why. And it's going to make us look silly. Well, at least we had it on there. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I mean. There's just part of me thinks that that's going to happen now. And there was us thinking like, Alcaraz? <laughs> really? And now that, it's going to happen. Patrick was right. And he is from the tennis one up. Make sure to download that using the link pinned in the live chat. Help support the channel. It is a great app as well. And Hatchinoff is on the board. He was love 30 down and then won four points in a row. A very big time. And Hatchinoff needed that because honestly, I felt like it would have been a bagel if he got broken there. Yeah, I mean, very good to get on the board. But part of me feels it's going to be a 6-2 first set. That's what I'm thinking. Just a quick one. Do you know that sponsor, the A, is it all? A, A, A. The A and the two lines looks like it all. Oh yeah, What's that? what are they? Do you know what they do? No, I've never. I didn't even see that. You must have seen that logo many times before. All right, because that is, it is the AI or is it ALL? I'm not sure, but I think it's all. Uh, but re irrelevant to what it is, that is oh. the sponsor of Paris Saint Germain, the football team. 
Oh, okay. You see it all over their kits. Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, they all wear that. Hmm. Interesting. But I don't know what they do. And what I've never they... heard of them before, really. I'll have, I'll have a look. Sponsors. Yeah, not sure what they are. Maybe someone no. in the live chat can let us know what the A I I or I was, was going to say it might be like an airline or something. <laughs> Most with places. an L and an I, it's so hard to tell. I mean, it could be either. Could be like some sort of airline. I don't know why. Oh, airline, maybe. I, there's part of me thinking that it might be that. I don't know. Here we go. Second serve for Novak. Goes to the backhand of Hatchinov. Flicks it back there again. Good backhand Hatchinov. He's pushed Djokovic back momentarily, but Djokovic pushes on the pedal again, goes down the line and misses. 15 Ooh. all. Sign of him being human there. <laughs> Not all of them go inside the court. King of Justin Alcraz can't do anything to Djokovic. Well, he did in Madrid. Did quite a bit to him then, and Rafa. Yeah. Did just won the US dangerous. Open. I mean, you can't really criticise Alcaraz too much. Yeah, I, I can't think he find is, anything um... online. No, I, I don't know. know what it is. No. But you do yeah, the it commentary, I'll find it. It is all, though. So it says all.com underneath. That's what I was looking for, for to see what it said underneath. If you just type in all.com, we'll know. And it is... Accor. Yeah. Live So French limitless. hospitality company, Accor's Lifestyle Lo Loyalty Program. Interesting. So Accor's Lifestyle Loyalty Program. And it's signed on a premium partner for PSG ahead of the 2022-24 season. Don't know what they do. It's just like... Djokovic just missed program. that. Yeah, Djokovic misses that forehand down the line only just, and it is now 15.30. Hatchinov, small window. Will it get slammed shut by a Djokovic big first serve? Quite possibly. Yeah, now Djokovic has to play. Yeah, it makes it more interesting, though. Hatchinov had a good year as well. Yeah, that's true. He has had a good year. Normally... I mean, if he had a better draw, he could have gone quite deep, Hatchinov. Yeah. Well, he still clearly won. likes it. He's won it before. There's nothing to say that he doesn't come into this match. Djokovic trying to hit the lines. He attacks the net. Oh, Great volley. oh my word. What a shot. And that's a button worthy wow. one from Karen Hatchinov. Wow. I don't know how he made it. It was a good volley from, wow. from, from Novak. And somehow Hatchinov just picks one down the line. That's amazing. Where's that button, Ben? Press it. Oh, well, don't worry. It's down there next to the many. Djokovic button. Karim, 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 had to know. Karim, 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 had to know. Yeah, one thing we definitely do need, Ben, is a new Lorenzo Massetti button. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because he is a player, and I think it needs to be a really good one. So if one we need to spend some time on, we're going to be seeing, be seeing a lot of Lorenzo Massetti these next few years. Most definitely. He I kind of want a feature on it. He, you're not getting your grubby hands on a feature on a Massetti button. I feel like I should be part of a Massetti button. No, you can't, one of my you can't just stop running in there and jumping on Massetti's button. I don't know. I do like a bit of Massetti, man. Oh, my oh, word. It's a barely... double fault from Djokovic and Hatchinov wow. is back. We're back on serve. Ah. It's great that we've done a full year as well since the buttons or two years since the break button because now we're back to Paris again and they actually make sense. I like it. It's good to see the, the old Paris background in there. Do you want to change to something different or? I think we need, I would love a new button altogether. I'd like all the buttons. To I want be a new revamp then for 2023. I want you to create every single button again. Yeah, new break buttons. New, we need different. Why like, don't you just winning... sit down one day and do all the buttons? Yeah, it's they, they all take 10 seconds, so it's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Lamberto in saying, Oh, Lamberto Toscano. Ciao, Lamberto. He's saying, Garcia or Eager tonight, guys. Iga, Iga. I know, it's going to be a really good one though. Both players in great form, looking good on this surface. 
I think Hopefully Garcia might trouble her more than more than most. Yeah. Should it be a great a one though. Make sure to join us for it. We'll be covering it in about five hours' time. We will. Uh sorry if you uh if you booked Mark the old stream. Uh, I had to re-upload it. We just had some problems with that old stream. And there is a new one on there now. I'll pop it in the uh in the live chat for everybody. Nice. Data and Senna, I'll be there. Good. We look forward nice. to it. Make sure if you haven't already, guys, hit the like button. Only 50 likes so far. Another 50 to go until we get to 100. Come on. Yeah, I might start making like a 50 like button. I don't know. Is 50 like nah, button worth it? Nah, it's not worth it. Just to give some incentive to people nah. to get to the 50. Because once you've got to the 50, then people might want to see a new 100 like button. I think we so need think... a new 100 one. For sure. No, but I, but I mean, like, if we can get people to want to get to 50 then they might want to get to the next one if they're really good buttons like good songs i might have a 50 like song a 100 like song yeah definitely of, we, like i think that is a key but i don't know but i would leave it at 50 i would just stick to 100 yeah as we first. definitely need a bagel button i agree give us some other button ideas can i be on the bagel button <laughs> eating one yeah i'll just film you <laughs> It's <laughs> been me eating a bagel. Oh. <laughs> I've got to eat the bagel within 30 seconds. <laughs> That's not a challenge, that. <laughs> 30 seconds. I've got to swallow it whole. That just sounds dangerous. <laughs> Is it really dangerous? No, no drink The allowed. digestive system would just slowly break it down. Just, go, oh, just gets lodged in your throat. <laughs> Yeah, we need a breadstick button as well. Breadstick, Break maybe a blood. swan. Do we need a swan button? No, it's too many. That's what I mean. Like, we'd be careful of adding too many because we'll never find any of them. It does make it more tricky to. Some of them start looking similar as well, like lamb shank and match. I'd point, love a new, but... like a whole rebrand for twenty twenty three of the buttons though. Yeah, we do need some new buttons. The Massetti one being the top, top of the list. Yeah, Massetti definitely needs. He's got the old and Italian. I want an Italian though. theme. I want you to sing in Italian. Yeah, good luck with that. I might have to get you to sing on that button. <laughs> what if we get my dad on it? There you go. He'd love <laughs> Stick it. Stick him on the Massetti button. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> we'll get, get Christina on it. <laughs> Why not? We can oh, what maybe... a rally this is. Djokovic volleys at the net. Hatchinoff is there. Hatchinoff goes for the volley. No, she goes for the lob. Sorry, not <laughs> Oh, what a lob. What a lob. Wow. Another good shot. Two absolutely sublime shots from Hatchinoff. Brilliant. Let's have a look at that again. It's a difficult lob to pull off. But it's just pinpoint. Great shot again. Brilliant shot. Absolutely I, I, brilliant. I do like a set point button. Yeah, set... Or set one, I don't know. Like no, but then it would have to be like a swan or a. I don't think you can have it for six three, six four, all that. It's gonna to get too messy. Well, you could do the scores, every single score. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of everything, it's like six love, <laughs> and it's like a rolling bagel, and a new song you've sung singing to every time. Bagel, bagel, the lo 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 lo. We could definitely do a lot more, Ben. Really slacking in that department. I know. I'm waiting for you to send some, some vocals over and I'll tune them up. I do like that, though. A bagel idea. I feel, in fact, we need to have that for 2023. All of these like animation-y things that, you, that people suggest aren't that easy. That's the problem. Just saying, like, it would be great if there was something flying out of a window and then something somebody catches it at the bottom and then none of this is possible with my... Limited creativity. Well, that's why I didn't include you as an excellent bucket button maker yet, because you're not quite there. Well, damn good button. You can't do a spawn. bagel coming out of a window, can you? No, I'm not really an animation person. Not an animator. That's what they're called. Well, that's that what they're called? Animation person <laughs> or animator. 
See, I, 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 I rest. I rest my case. <laughs> I'm not that person. Don't even know what they're called. Hatching <laughs> oh, up with a double fault yeah, now. Useless double fault button. <laughs> that might be a good. It has to be a quick one for double fault button though. <laughs> Like it's like wah, wah, wah. <laughs> could be yeah something like that. <laughs> more like, a, like a fart noise or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Djokovic doing his uh classic looking at the floor. Come on, look up, Novak. Don't look down. Negative body language. Nah, Djokovic is weird because he started this one so well, then Hatchlov <laughs> found a level from the gods. Yeah, he really has. Like Hatchlov, I'm no offense, would beat a lot of players in this first set who if, if it wasn't Djokovic. I think the only player he wouldn't probably be beating is Felix. I think this is good enough to beat Alcaraz right now. Hatchinov. Is Djokovic getting PTSD from the last time they played and he beat him in the final here? Oh, I drive volleys now. Imagine oh. off that smash. Wow. Smash it's 3 well. 3. 3 on the bounce. Is that a consolidation? consolidation? Correct, sir. <laughs> Impressive. Karen, 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 Hatch no, Karen, 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 Hatch no, Hatch no. The King of Just and Djokovic looked at the floor because he's showing his opponents they're going down. It's worked for years. Interesting. Analysis there of the Djokovic looking down tactic. Is that Pavy G <laughs> front row? Could well be. Gets everywhere. Serbian flags. Yeah, Djokovic not really finding those first serves now either. Only 56% of first serves in. Dropping we both off. said, Hatch enough, won't even take a set. I what said I did lose 6 2 in this set. <laughs> it's already got to three. It's weird because Djokovic is playing well as well. It's a strange old match, this one. Good smash from Djokovic there. It's just a, it's just a good match. I think yeah. these two are just really good. I think this surface really does suit Hatchinov as well. So it does make no, it a more interesting matchup. Can Hatchinov ever win a slam? God, I don't know about that. He'd have to Come have close this year. To have US Open. help along the way with which is, other... is not impossible. We've seen that already in the, over the slams recently. It is possible. Dominic team won with some help because he had the same about Alcaraz as well. Who's more likely to win one, Hatchinov or her catch? Oh. <laughs> Who do you think? I don't know. Don't know why I picked her catcher. <laughs> Who do you think is more likely? I was going to say Kyrgios, but then you. Oh it. my word! Look at Hatchinov go. He's like that graceful, like a gazelle there on the court. He's like Djokovic. It's like watching Djokovic twice. Like a tall Djokovic on the other end. Look at this for a shot. Look at this was... for anticipation. The drop shot was terrible, and he was already <laughs> there in a flash. Yeah, he guessed him, didn't he? It's not like Jokovic. Bernard reckon Hubie beats Hatchinov. Interesting. Which surface? Grass? Or grass, yeah. Almino in saying, even as the resident GTL Hatchinov fan, I've got to say no to him winning the slam. And that sort mm. of rhymes as well, which is quite good. Yeah, I'm going to go no as well. Are you no? Yeah, I'm no. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said no. yeah. That was your first. I'll take your first answer. Was it yeah? No. You can't say yeah. I'm no. Yeah or no? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> well, I'm taking your first answer. I'm going to clip that and put it as a YouTube short. 
Can hatch yeah. and a weird bang goes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they just chop it there. And they just end. <laughs> and then we'll wait for him to win that slam. And, and then we'll put speed at the end of the clip. Oh, God. <laughs> or dancing or something. Here he, here he comes, though. 15.30. What he's, has happened to Novak win... Djokovic? Six games in a row, maybe, for Hatchinov. Hatchinov bagel after lo- losing free love? Maybe. Right. If how many King of likes... Jokes have Mikel Weimar to win a Grand Slam 2024. No. I'm not saying that's impossible. I am. I'm not saying... I'm a big fan of Mikel Weimar. I've been telling Ben for years about him. And he just do not really. seem to get behind him. He never gets no. behind Emeyer. Not really. I was talking about him way before the pod. Yeah, I know. Swedish. I'm not saying he's a bad player. I just don't see him winning a Grand Slam. <laughs> oh, you never know. Anything's possible. He's only you young. You never know. It's like saying Passaro is going to win a Grand Slam in... Well, that's not happening. Seven years or something. Mikel Weimar can. Passaro's not. Why? Just can't. Luka Some Nardi's people just don't have a it. slam in like the next 10 years. Mm, maybe. Not mad at that. Luca Nardi, top player. What about Massetti? That'd probably be a more interesting one. Hear me out. Shevchenko. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Beat I'm Hanfman. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No offense, Hanfman. We love oh, him. Great serve. Novak, and he does hold. Big hold at that. 4-3, he leads. Hatching off, though, playing very well and making this one super competitive. Stopped the rot, didn't he? Djokovic stopped the rot. We was worried about a bagel for Hatching off <laughs> after going three love down. So Imagine. no worries about that. And Djokovic changing his top. Yeah, Get it's your probably phone the up, top. Ben, take some photos. Probably the top, which is letting him down, to be honest. Maybe get a different... Get the green one out. I think the green one was always better. He was better in red, more... Djokovic. Maybe, yeah, he's pretty good in red as well. Danger. We're up. If to he six... was there right now, Ben, oh. I want to know. I know you're a big Novak Djokovic fan. Would you get your phone out and take a photo of him topless? Oh, you mean like you did with Rafa at Wimbledon? No, it's just very important. I really need to know this. Would, would if he was there right now, would you be taking a photo of him? No, I'd be trying to clamber over just to try and touch his back, his sweaty back. <laughs> If he was to take a photo, would you do a selfie so you're in it or just a photo of him? Zooms, yeah, a big zoom on it. <laughs> I'm trying to get my hand as close to him as possible and then take it. We've got Almino and then scat off up to 140 Ooh, now, Ben. Wow. Might Looking be breaking to the, the top, top 100. 100 soon. Can he win a Grand Slam, though, Ben? <sighs> know, it's a tall order. He's only, tw- what, 21 or 22? Yeah, there's so some like, people who just won't ever win one, and that's he's one of them. He's got like a he's not peaked yet, so we'll have to wait and see on on that one. For, at the moment, no, but maybe he'll have a Karatsev burst uh, later in his career. Gary talking about the match, like probably we should be <laughs> saying it's all about the serve, guys. Look at the last couple of points. If Novak gets first serves in, it's curtains for just about everyone. Yep. So I've got a counter question to you, Gary. Is it over for Felix? I think Felix is a great returner. And the way he's playing indoor hard courts, even behind his serve, he's so dominant. Is Djokovic... Do you think Djokovic has t- enough tools to beat Felix right now in, these, in this form? Yes. I'm not asking you. I'm asking Gary, the specialist, the Djokovic expert. Just so you could clip it. Yes, I mean, no. <laughs> 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 No, I'd yes. only ask you about AR. I'm not asking you about tennis. <laughs> oh, okay, bro. All right, we'll take that one down anyway. Right, we've got uh, Niar pulling out the old Hemsworth hatching of comparison again. It's, uh, is it Liam Hemsworth, not Chris Hemsworth? Isn't it? Yeah, we've heard this a few times. Yeah, it does get brandished a lot, doesn't it? Who's your lookalike again? What, in the tennis court? No. Oh, no. Well, that one the other day. Yeah. <laughs> the other one was Reese Eifens the other day when uh, he had a right. beard. It did, what did, when, when he sent it, I was actually like, actually, that's not far off. I think off. he's a bit too good looking for you. A little bit. 
Maybe I need him to like have been beaten up a little bit and then look a bit more like me. <laughs> Here we go. Love 30. Djokovic Weathered. looking to break. <laughs> he gets the serve back. Hatchinoff goes the other way. Knocks it up and Hatchinoff puts it away. Easy as you like. Yeah. He's little shake of the racket. 15-30. Important he holds it. Otherwise, Djokovic will be serving for the first set. It's been a very strange set. I mean, we could be looking at free, free, free. Either way. That's what Djokovic does. Little blip. The fact he's not even serving well today. And he's still in with a chance of winning this well, Only 50% of the first serves for Novak. Yeah, not... If he gets Does up he... to eighty percent, I agree with Gary. It is curtains for a lot of players. I'm not sure about Felix though. Yeah, I think he still does him. Oh, the drop shot's crafty. I don't know why Hatchner went for that power on that shot. That was not the shot to go Struck for. To it. Yeah, but he was coming in at such a like pace towards the ball and the highest part of the net as well. Oh. Yeah, but sometimes you need that power just to get the. What we sent it all for. I don't know who that person in the crowd was. Oh. <laughs> Standing up, going mad. Like... <laughs> Sometimes you need power just to get that flick. Otherwise, you won't get enough topspin on the ball. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about all that. <laughs> 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 no, there's, there's no power in my game. <laughs> just going for a... Or flick. Would you say I'm quite a powerful <laughs> player, Ben, when I play? Aggressive? Yeah. Not really. Anyway, break point, Novak. First serve's good. Djokovic just about gets it back. Hatchinoff on the ascendancy in the rally. Goes to the backhand of Djokovic. Djokovic only slices it mid-court. It's a weak shot from Hatchinoff. Djokovic goes backhand to the forehand of Hatchinoff again. It's loose from Hatchinoff. Ooh. All of these are really inside the court. And Djokovic yeah. eventually, surely, is going to pull the trigger. He does there. Hatchinoff gets it back. He's going to get finished. No, he's not because he, he's gone for the oh. lob and he's done it again. Oh, it's the so king good. of lobs, Karen Hatchinoff. It's incredible. He's just enjoying the lobs at the moment, isn't he? Djokovic, why does he keep going back the same way? He's been guessed many times. It's not like Djokovic, this. He just keeps going there. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's strange. He already knew. He just knew. Well inside the baseline, that lob. Gary said, JG, notice I said just about everyone. Fair enough, Gary. But I would agree with you then on that statement. Saying Felix is an exception for sure. He is the guy I fear most for the rest of Nole's career. That's big. That big. I think I would fear Adkaraz for the rest of his career more than Felix. Indoor hardcore, maybe Felix. But in terms of the whole duration of a season... You can't really Maybe. fear Felix on a clay court. So. What about grass court? Maybe it's Wimbledon will be challenged by Felix. I mean, Felix Felix is going to win a Wimbledon. There you go. You heard it here first. Clip it up. Felix will win a Wimbledon. He's still so young. I mean, he's, what is he, like 21? 22? Any more guesses? 24? <laughs> <laughs> 27? I reckon 22. All right, I'll let you uh, put me out of my misery. Yeah, 22. Hey. Spot on. Stick with the first guess. Just genius back again. And Hatchinoff will be thrilled because he's managed to get out of that game, save two break points, and we go into it's... business end. Business end time. Good performance so far from Karen. Let's see if he can keep this up. If you are just joining us, make sure hit a like button on the video. Subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. We need another 35 likes to get to 100. Come on. Yeah, if you want to join our membership as well, you can get special live chat features. Uh, throw in some special emojis and we will give you some Pretty good shout outs because we do spot you guys. You are highlighted in green in the live chat. Join the Patreon as well. Come on. There's some exclusive content on there that everyone's dying to see. Hear me out, Ben. I think hatching off breaks. Ooh. That is my big call. Oh, he's gone drop shot. It's a good one. Novak's there. Oh, Surely. what's all that about? 
could have done oh. better there. <laughs> oh, hatch he literally and could have. He did yeah. so well, and then the last one I thought was probably easier than the shot before. Balls it up. I guess it was maybe at the. Let's have a look again. Was it at the body? This was a tricky one, and he flicked it back. I thought this one's not as difficult, but it just no. seemed to. Why did he what, struggle with his body? His I don't bo- know. It was all over the place. Body just went into some sort of meltdown there. I'm not sure what happened. Movies Maxwell will Rude ever win a Grand Slam? Yeah, I think so. I no, think he he's won't. Got a, I think he's got a French Open in him. Oh, Rude won't win one. Why is he just going to face Alcalaz every time he gets to anything? I think he's. Um, I think he is basically a Rublev. 2.0. Ah, so harsh. I think... Has he Rublev... made two Grand Slam finals? I don't think he's going to win Ru- one. What's Rublev ever done in a slam? He's a Rublev 2.0. He's not a Rublev 2.0. I'm surprised you say that. That's so harsh. It's some big calls I'm making. I think Massetti will win one before Rude. Very harsh. I think Benny Benny Arsh there. JG Benny Benny Arsh. I'm really looking forward to your top 10 anyway next year. Can't wait for yours as well. Really can't wait for yours. It's one of my favourite podcasts. I just know what you're going to do. So predictable. So are you. You have no idea. I've got Mikau Ima. He's in my (laughs) finals for next year because obviously he's going to win a slam soon. I've got Hatchinov (laughs) at number three. Is that right? I know you're going to have Djokovic number one. It's pretty I much nailed on. You'll go Djokovic, Iga, definitely. Oh, Alcaraz had a pretty good year this year. Maybe he'll be better next you year. You won't go Alcaraz. They'll have their minerals. It might be Rafa. I mean, he did so well this year. Exactly. Wimbledon points counted. He would have been world number one by now. Might have even won Wimbledon if he's chose to stay in it. He didn't, he didn't get an option, mate. He was injured. But anyway, Could've that one's long. On. Couldn't play on, mate. Could have just played inch, on. What was it, like 13-inch tear through his abdominals? Suddenly got to beat Kyrgios. Could do that with one hand. Oh, shut up, mate. Game to love. <laughs> nice, easy service game for Novak. Oh. He's got the, he's hiding underneath the towel. <laughs> What's a bit late for Halloween. Another tactic. <laughs> Ghostly. Djokovic. Interesting. Is he going to break now and take the set? Wouldn't it be typical Novak to do so? This is where Hatchinov would normally fall down, falter against the big guys. Are we going to see it again here? Quite possibly. How are we doing, Ems? Thanks for joining us. Gary going one or two more Wimbledons for Novak. Wow, I'm interested to see if Alcalaz starts becoming good on the grass. I feel like he's got a good chance. I feel like his game does suit it. He just needs to just get a bit more practice. I think I've got another big call in me. I'm not oh, sure. <laughs> this is a really big one. I'm not sure if I want to say it out loud, but I'm not sure Djokovic and Nadal will ever win a slam again. Terrible. Why would you say that? You're trying to ruin don't... everyone's day. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you doing? I, listen, Depresso I'm, over it. I've got a bit of a feat. I'm not sure if Nadal or Djokovic will win a slam again. I'm, I think Djokovic will, will I win think one. some. there's going to be more people come to the stage next year than ever before. Players we're not talking room. about, potentially. I think he's definitely going to be up there next year, for sure. Felix has already shown what he can do. Yeah. Consistency is key. And maybe we'll see a few players who are just sort of hanging on the fringes, just clinging on at the moment, drop off next year, like your Murrays, your Vavrinkas, people like that who are just eating up wild cards at the moment. True. Maybe maybe they'll disappear and we'll get to see some new blood in. We're going to see some new blood from the challengers, I think. Cause a bit of a stir. We're going to see some new blood in the... Next gen uh, finals, which is coming up soon as well. That'd be yeah. exciting. Jack Draper coming of age, maybe next year. Would be fantastic. Would love that. Oh, oh that's a good one. Djokovic. Huge forehand, cross court, love 15. 
Yugoslav since and he win. Don't worry, JG. To what Rafa, Yugoslav? I know you're a big fan. Let me know. Just clarify who you're talking about. Uh, Almino in San but I agree. The slams are way more open from next year onwards. Yeah, I can see it now. Listen, I only speak the truth. Ben will tell you. I generally think we're going to see a bit of a switch next year onwards in in terms of the tennis landscape on the ATP Tour. I think Zverev wins a slam. <laughs> yeah, remind you of that when we come to Roland Garros. Listen, Zverev, Zverev wins a slam. <laughs> I'm going to remind you of this tennis landscape that's changing when we go to Roland Garros and we see who your winner is. I well, we know who yours to... is going to be. Can't wait to hear your one. We know one. who yours is going to be. I can't wait to hear your one. Yeah, Rafa. Last I'm year you went Rafa as well. I'll go Rafa this year, next year as well. Exactly. That's all you do. Boring. Definitely. No tennis knowledge. Just goes off a whim. Just goes for the favourite. This wasn't the favourite, was he? This is Ben's research where he goes into a draw. He just looks at the book. Is oh, who's for? Oh yeah, I'll go for him. Medvedev favourite is he? This year? oh yeah, I'll go for him. Boring Ben. People... That's what he's known as. Boring Ben. <laughs> no one tunes into the podcast to watch Ben's predictions. I love my predictions. Ooh, Djokovic oh, Djokovic misses an easy one down 30. the line. Fifteen he screams 30. as well. Look at how angry he is. Kevin saying Rafa over under two point five slams. I see over. <laughs> what? Next year? In total for his career. Yeah, I'll definitely go he gets for under. it. I think Zverev wins a slam next year. I think we'll see a few mm. unknowns you don't we, you wouldn't expect. Zverev, we need to see him come back. Come back to good form again. And Adikaraz is going to win at least one slam next year. At least one? Oh. The telling you, Roger, Rafa... And Novak. Not with any slap. definitely out. <laughs> next he comes back. I've been surprised. Big three are not oh, winning any slams of. next year. Terrible volley. And it is two set points right on cue. 49 minutes. No, look at that. It's getting a lot of support, Djokovic, isn't it? I don't know if they're Serbians who live in France or just Serbians who travelled to France, but Fair play to them. They're there fully fully supporting Djokovic. Yep. And this is what you want to see at a tennis event. Just an atmosphere. Proper Flag. support. They've got all the flags out, haven't they? All the Edemars. Get that raffer over under off. <laughs> oh, it's a great return. We're into yeah. the rally. What is Hatchinov made of? At this crucial time, it's a backhand down the line. He's stretching, he can't Ooh, get him back in court. Oh, Matt Djokovic has easily wrapped it up right at the end. He broke on. when it mattered. Novak Djokovic leads the first set 6 4. DJ, okay. No, le, ole, ole, ole. DJ, Right, well, that first set, it was topsy-turvy, but this, well, what happened at the end was pretty predictable, like you said. Probably breaks now, takes the set. But we should take this moment, as it is the end of a set, to say, please download the Tennis One app. It is a great app, and the link is in the live chat and in the description. Uh, roll the Run VT, JG. <laughs> This video is brought to you in collaboration with the Tennis One app. Make sure to download the app today using the link in the description. It has everything tennis in one place. That is live scores, stats, news, videos, and much more. The great thing about the app is they create a lot of their own content themselves at the tournament. And just the other day, they asked Coco Goff 
if she's still on a parent's mobile phone bill. And if you want to see the answer, make sure to download the app today. And if you do download it, you can then get involved in Game Zone. There's fun tennis games on the app. One of them, a bracket battle where you can win actual money. I mean, you don't have to pay to enter and you can win a lot of cash. So make sure to download the app, Apple or Android. And if you want to see our content, that's on there too. So even more reason to download it. And remember, if you want all of your tennis in one place, download the Tennis One app today. Yes, please make sure to download the app. Help support the channel, and it is an awesome app, especially if you want to make a bit of money. It's tough out there right now, cost of living crisis. Make some cash by getting your predictions right. Um, if you're any good at it, it helps you out. What's going on on the court? I just hatching off. Can't open the packaging for his wristbands. Yeah, y'all. St- <laughs> <So, laughs> the has opened them for him. So, uh, oh dear, Karen, what's happened now? He's lost the set and he's lost like his lost masculinity. His lost his masculinity. What else is he going to lose in this one? Do you open jars at home for your girlfriend? Oh yeah, all the time. Is there, there ever are... been a situation you can't open it? And you've given it to your girlfriend, then she opens it. Yeah, I must have loosened it though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually a little trick as well if you. If you don't want to try and bust your elbow and your wrist and stuff to open jars, even though it can be fun to just know that you were able to do it, like because that is part and parcel of just being a man. Go open that jar. That is, but you can actually, uh, if you've got, uh, I believe it's if you've got like a bottle opener, you can actually just open those jars with it as well. You can just oh, go, really? as long as you release the gas, like if you just go and it like makes it less airtight you can then just unscrew it easily so there's a real simple trick if you want to learn how to do it but don't oh. do it in front of anyone otherwise they'll think oh my god I'll, I'll know how to do it they won't bring you the jars anymore so you can open them but it's more satisfying when you go like finally feel it going you go oh yeah I'll tell you the it. ones i love dorito salsa which oh, just yeah. simply won't open i don't know if you've ever had one which yeah. just simply will not open yeah, that happens. I mean, I've most had... of the times they, they're quite nice. And I'll tell you what's good about them is when you do finally get release, it makes a oh. little pop. Sorry. It makes a little popping. No, yeah. it's that popping noise. Yeah, it's the pop. little thing on the top pops up, doesn't oh, it? Like the little button. And then you've got the little button on the top. Then. It is beautiful. I love it. Mine are nor- normally like a jar of like a big jar of gherkins or something like that. Ooh, or I don't pickles. like pickles. I know, so that's what I mean. You wouldn't have had that scenario. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I do really love them. Maybe Kevin jar... saying brains is greater than muscle jar openers. Well, exactly there. If you work out a way to open it rather than just trying to use brute force. We've got M saying all this masculine masculinity. Thank God I'm here to even it out. How do you open it, Ems? What do you do? Do you uh, give it to somebody or do you have you got a secret way of opening i feel like i do even it out anyway because i'm not really that masculine i'm pretty feminine as well i'd say i'm 50 50 probably more 60 40 on the feminine <laughs> side <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh. <laughs> <laughs> right back on court Djokovic serving are we going to see a better serving performance from him in this second set? Will Hatchinov put up some resistance or will he just fade away into obscurity? Oh, it's a drop was... shot. Unlucky. What was the score last time they uh, played in the sets? Well, I've been waiting for you to ask me because I've had it open the whole time, <laughs> waiting to say it. So Go now on, I can release the information. It was in Astana and yeah. Djokovic won 6 4, 6 3, an hour and 29 minutes. Oh, it's going to be the same then. Just no, it won't be. It'll be slightly longer. Maybe it'll be longer no. than one hour twenty nine. Yeah, it'd be like one forty. Because first set was forty two minutes, second set forty seven. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel it's going to be the same scoreline. <laughs> no matter what the time, I feel that that, now he's serving first. Has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, I really can't wait for the Grand Slams next year. I'm going to make some massive predictions. I keep going on about these predictions. You can't wait. I honestly can't. I'm missing it. It's getting sad now because we've just got this event, then the ATP finals, the end of the WJ next finals, gen. and a bit of next gen. But it's not, that's it then after that. Yeah. There's nothing else going on. Then we just got our end of year. Just got wrap like, up. gross, a few award ceremonies, a few Q and A's. I'm gonna just start drinking. I think for these for these next few. Why not Christmas? I've been drinking much recently, so get back on it. Really? <laughs> not really. <mate. laughs> no, I've hardly much. drunk for about a month. Really? Yeah, not really. Must, something bad must have happened. That's all I can. Gauge. <laughs> That's no, there's no other reason. <laughs> no, mate, nothing bad's happened. Oh, it's long for matching off. Game to love. Djokovic normal service resumes. Renard in saying, JG, the master predictor, already predicting how great his predictions will be. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, when are we doing our review of last year's predictions? Oh, got, listen, there is actually a lot in store. I don't think people realise we're going to be doing a podcast every day. There's a lot of podcasts I've got up my sleeve and I can't wait to unleash them all. Yeah, that's funny. Those ones always are the drinking pods. Though. Just end so of saying, year. Just, you're coming up to just a drinking vibe. <sighs> Ben's in his element. I want yep. to see some new buttons though for it, Ben. Especially Massetti. Otherwise, I refuse to do the next-gen finals without a Massetti button. Is he I'm in gone strike. Is he in the next-gen finals? I hope so. How old is he now? 20? Okay. Is that allowed? No. I'll tell you who's in the next gen finals. I'm not sure if he is. I think he is. I hope he is. Yeah, I'm not sure who, what the final people are. So it's Massetti, Holgorun, Jack Draper, Nakashima, Yiri Lehechka, Chen Swin Zeng, uh, Pesaro, and Stricker. Interesting. Good selection. It is a good selection. And Massetti going into its favourite. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Holgorun. Well, yeah. Both of those two. It's actually fascinating. So... And I refuse to cover it. I'll say it again. Unless Ben makes a Massetti button. And unless I'm in the button. No, We've got Mayer in saying, I love the Simon button. Oh, Simon's we'll got to... a button before Massetti. Come on, Ben. He's part out. of the old school, though, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it was his last game ever today. So I thought he had game or match. All of them. He played his last game in the last set of his last match and his last point. And his last point. What was the point? Didn't turn up today, did he? Beat the Fritz. Point of you. Thought he loved. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, Reds Joker. Yeah, we can have the Simon button. Not now, we're not. Yeah, we'll just throw it around. If anyone we'll wants them. any player button, $5 tip, and we'll get whatever player button you want in the stream right now. That includes Jill Simon. And Maybe Masetti. Who wants a Rafa button? I don't mind. $5, we get Rafa out. Wheel him back out again. Wheel him out. We even wheel out Federer if you want. Wheel out Ash Barty. Del Potro, anyone? Any takers? Oh, the big man. The big man. <laughs> Serena man. got wheeled out last night. Oh, that's oh, that's a, a good little shot. combination, but Hatchinoff oh. gets there. Tween our <laughs> misses into the net. Yeah. A lot of he running for not much Labouring back to the baseline there. Mayor saying, I hope you can do a video. Yes, we will be doing. So every year we have an awards ceremony. Um, we'll be doing an awards ceremony. We might have to change the Hall of Fame around a little bit because there's a few members yep. who have been banished from the Hall of Fame. Um, <laughs> 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 but <laughs> we will be doing a button of the year, an ATP Woo! button of the year, a WTA button of the year, a comment. Uh, I'll tell you a really good one, commentator of the year. 
Obviously, me and Ben are not going to be on it, but we're just going to have all the other commentators, see who you guys vote for. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of fun, different things I'm just going to prepare for. It's going to be very busy, very exciting, but I'm just going to be drinking for it and just vibing out. Have fun. Sounds good. Get some chocolate for the stream. Oof. Sounds like a dream. Get some chocolate for Gil. <laughs> I just love a bit of chocolate. It's on his mind. Always. Maybe get some players on. Unless he has to swim to go get it, then he doesn't like it so much. Got Lamberto saying, I'm defo voting for Megan. Oh, Megat. It's a new one we've got in. Well, that member of the year, listen, I'm not against Ooh. it at all. We didn't have members last year, so we can include member of the year as well. We, we, had... we usually have GTL fan of the year. Yeah. I don't Who think anyone was here for last year. Ward. Who won it last year? I think we had Thomas Rock. Was it Thomas Rock? Can't remember. No, it's so Kathy. long ago. I literally can't remember. It was Kathy or Thomas Rock who won it last what year. Gene? Gene, Gene? Won, Gene won something. He won a special award, I think. Like <laughs> it was like Gene a... definitely won an award. We, we, we gave We've him got an it all award. listed down. I made a cool PowerPoint. <sighs> nice. I think I, I like gave it. Gene some... Is it Amazon vouchers, Gene? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, I said it was Gene. I think Gene won something else. <laughs> anyway, back to the match. Break point. Novak Djokovic. We've got host of the year this year. Host of the year? Is that a change in bed? Oh, is that all right? You mean us? No. But yeah. the bottom ones are good, obviously. Is there an AR of the year? <laughs> Got my own category. In fact, I did have a I did have something here with a lot oh. of categories on it, but I can't find it now. No. Anyway, let's get back to this. It's a good serve from Hatchnoff. He saved the break point a second ago. Backhand Djokovic to the forehand of Hatchnoff goes down the line. Hatchnoff just digs it out. It's a drop shot, terrible one. Advantage yeah. Hatchnoff. Terrible drop shot from Djokovic. Seems a little bit frustrated. I think it's just going to be one of those matches where he just doesn't play that great, but just has to squeeze it over the line. <laughs> it does. Felix probably watching this thinking, mm, you know what? Might have him. Might have his number. Might have him. If he no, serves really Djokovic well. Djokovic is actually playing good enough. Good enough. Turns it on when he needs to. Right. Second serve. Djokovic back in play. Good backhand cross court. Hatching off good depth on his shots, though. Really keeping Djokovic on the baseline. Oh, that one's a bit of a loose one. And that's what yeah. happens. Djokovic makes him run as soon as there's a loose one. Wow. I just want to take you through some other results. TFO beating Dimonor. And Massetti beating Rude. You're not spoke about either of them, Ben. Nope. I haven't. You're right. TFO, is that the person no one's talking about that could potentially win the whole thing? And I want to shout out as well because I predicted Massetti to beat Chilich and then to beat Casper Rude. Ooh. That, listen, takes some serious doing. I went for the Massetti thing because I believe in him a lot. That's I think good. you know that by now. And Holgerun. Did you have him beating Rublev as well? Yes, I, I did. Remember. Did you? Yep. God, look at him. Told you. Prediction king. Jay Genius. Thriving. He's finding a bit of form. Yep. Not so much in the WTA finals. But... Well, not really. Although saying all that, why am I so low on the ranking? Short, what if I've... <laughs> I think it's Rafa, isn't it? It's killed me off. <laughs> Semi-final <laughs> Rafa. That bit's not getting discussed enough. No. And Sarkari. Sarkari and Rafa. I'll stick to chatting about those two. Good parts, but not some, some other bits aren't so good. Do you see that um, Pagula Goff lost? Do they lose again? I think they lost I think twice. they're just done. 
Yeah. <laughs> the Americans in Fort Worth are just having a terrible time. Oh, oh great back. shot from Hatchinov. Yeah, big roar from him there. Who's that? Gene saying, why is the TNS leaderboard not working for the league? I th I'll, I'll try and uh, sort that out, Gene. That's strange. Should be working. But I did notice there was something wrong with it. Oh, good serve there from Hatchinov. But Djokovic into the rally. Playing it down the middle. Missed it. Like, yeah, just wide. Hatching off Harwood's big hold. Save, did he save a Massive. break point as well? I believe so, yeah. Well, it was definitely juices, so well played yeah. for Hatching off. Karim, 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 Hatching So, for those wondering, Megan's going to be in action tomorrow. We've got the evening off, Ben. Yeah. So, Megan's doing the WTA match tomorrow, which is Pegula Azar uh, not Azarenka, Sabalenka. <laughs> Alternate. <laughs> Comes in for a fellow country woman. And in terms of Paris matches tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I can't see any. Oh, so, we've got TFO Felix, Alcarez, Holgorun. Some really good ones. I may be able to cover France TFO Felix, but I'll see. If not, I know we've got a lot of people who are keen to cover them. Well, <sighs> right. Djokovic. Only two. We've also aces. got Cavi, by the way, he wants to cover Goff Kasatkina tonight. Is it possible? What do you mean? Is he set up? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he's all oh. set and ready to go. I wasn't sure if he got the match. Yeah, he's got it all. Wow. It's got he's it on all. job. He's got the lot. And he's a bit different to the other commentators in terms of a bit more old school. He said he likes to take notes <laughs> before before a match. <laughs> a <bit> more old. <laughs> no, he likes to have a pen and paper. So he likes to jot things down before That's a match. Good. I like that. Organised. That's what I'm telling you. It's a bit, a bit like you. That's what you used me. to do. Always when we taking started. notes. What do you mean? I'm always making notes. You used to make notes for the whole podcast before we started. I was going free row. <laughs> <laughs> I remember your notes. Just have some good notes. <laughs> it's a game to love. <laughs> Yugoslavs slaps in saying, JG, you're never going to learn. Novak going to win the trophy 99%. So, Jugoslav, why are you not sure? I'm saying that. There's a bit of doubt in that response. You're not, you're not entirely sure that Djokovic is going to win. Are you fearful of Felix, maybe, Jugoslav? You're showing yourself up a bit there, Jugoslav. And I'm a big fan of you. But you that 1% of doubt. Be more, I don't know, go in a bit harder on the prediction with 100 M's there saying, Rafa very positive in the press after loss. What else would we expect? Definitely. He said he's going to, he's hoping to be at the ATP final still. So that's all what we'd expect. And Djokovic there taking a tablet. Hmm. He's got a little fruit bowl there on the side. Bananas, oranges. Is that a little bit of dosing maybe? Illegal dose. <laughs> <laughs> Doping, not dosing. Dosing. He's <laughs> dosing himself. <laughs> A bit of illegal doping from oh. Novak Djokovic there. We've got the, all the ones on the time there. One hour, 11 minutes on the clock. And looks like it's definitely going to be a longer match than their last <laughs> encounter. Got game to old love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that old. Spare me one sec. I'll be back in two ticks. No worries. Oh, he's come back. That was quick. Really was two ticks. <laughs> here we go. Back on the way. Hatching off serving. He's trailing here 2-1 and down a set. Last time they played, 
this set was 6-3. But it actually took longer than the first set, which was 6-4. Second serve. Oh, my word. What a good second serve. Plays it down the middle, though. Hatchinoff, forehand to the backhand of Djokovic. Oh, we can't get the volley. Love 15. I have a feeling this could be the break from Novak. We've got Gibel in saying it's good that Francis and Felix have both made their serves much more consistent. Novak isn't having his best serving day today. Yeah, definitely. Novak's been a bit of a serve bot in this event up until now. I mean, crazy. I think he dropped like four points the whole match on serve. But not nowhere near as good in this one against Hatchinov, which opens up the tournament to the field. And two players you mentioned there, and Felix and Francis, having a really good year particularly Felix right now, but Francis, you can't rule him out. I wouldn't be surprised if Francis goes and wins the whole thing. People aren't talking about it, but he's more than capable of it. We've got Mannery saying, are we going to be covering Mutet Sissipas? Unfortunately, we won't be covering that match. I don't think anyone's covering that one. But we will be covering Iga Garcia, which is on in about four hours' time. And we've got three break points here for Novak Djokovic. Looking to break to love. Let's see if he can do it. First serve. Oh, it's into the net. Just smashes it into the net. Second serve. You'd think Djokovic should be able to break from this position. It's in. We're into the rally. Backhand to backhand. They go. Djokovic changes the angle. Hits a massive backhand. That's not coming back, is it? Djokovic finishes it off. Absolutely exceptional. Everyone's on their feet. Nole, 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 nole. The Joker. And here he goes. It was a game to love as well. Let's press that one. And he's looking on fire right now. Five points in a row. Where's the game to love? Here it is. Oh, that's out from Hatchnoff. Make that six. 30 love. Ben's going to come back and it may be over. Djokovic looking good. And listen, it's not even six. It's the last 10 points, actually. Djokovic, 10 points in a row. I don't know what's happened to him, but he's just on a tear right now. And Hatchinoff doesn't know what to do. Djokovic puts it away. Make that 11. Faulty love. Looking for back-to-back -back games to love. Ben's not going to believe the score when he comes back. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be the same time as the last one. Which was, what, one hour 29? So another... If Djokovic gets it done in 13 minutes, then it's the same as the last match. <laughs> Good forehand. And he's going to smash that one into the open court. And it is another game to love. This time a consolidated break. M's in saying, who plays the winner of this? That's a really good question. And off the top of my head, I can't remember. Um, but no, it is Lorenzo Musetti. So the winner of this match will be playing Lorenzo Musetti. And you've got to say, the way Djokovic is playing right now, what's that, 12 points in a row? It's got. It's probably going to be him. We could be looking at Djokovic Musetti again. What happened? I only went away for a minute. <laughs> just a 4 1. <laughs> no. It's destroyed him. No. Maybe he was trying to get the same time as the last match, wasn't it? Wasn't it one minute? Well, that's exactly one hour. what I said, mate. 129. So we've got 12 minutes to go. 
It's possible oh, now. Yeah, I How think about? it's. I think it's going to happen. I think he's just done like a madness in the last four five minutes. Games to love. That's what yeah. he does. Does best. So I just had to go and make a coffee. I just feeling like super tired today. I think. Well, I think it was last night's stream. Real lack of sleep. Yesterday, I think tennis. Yesterday, I haven't obviously done exercise in yeah. a long time. So that I'm feeling it today in a few muscles, and just drinks last night. Does make you tired for sure. You may have to wrap this up because I'm going to have to go as well. That's okay. Um, but there's should be only maybe 12 minutes left. <laughs> Don't say it. Never <laughs> say that. Ever. I reckon 12 minutes. But anyway, thanks well, everyone for watching. Hit the like button. Come on, let's get up to 100 likes for Djokovic. He's looking good, but I'm still worried about Felix. Right. So, Hatchinov serving 4 1 0. Oh, he's taken the scoreboard with him. Cheers. Nice one. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got another one on hand. There it is. <laughs> Just leaves. It's like going. It's like, no, my ball. If I go home, take my ball with me. All right. Love 15. Djokovic maybe trying to get it done. Uh, there's some people using flash photography on the court as well. Well, by the side of the court, not on the court. Djokovic having to have a word. Now it's love 15. And now the crowd getting a bit noisy. The umpire having to tell him to pipe down. Hatchinov, good first serve, but it's back in play. Backhand to backhand rally. Slice. Oh, it's a dodgy one from Djokovic. It's just spinning away from the court. Cheers to Gene for the super chat. Appreciate that. Uh, and well, you're creeping up on Kathy. I'll try and find out how much that uh, helps out. Should know the conversion by now, shouldn't I? Okay, so you added yourself on a few there. Good backhand from Djokovic. But the forehand is not enough in the corner from Hatchinov. And Djokovic, big backhand winner into the corner. Fantastic. Really wants this done and dusted pretty fast. But yeah, Gene, which player button do you want? That is worthy of one. Just let us know and I'll get that uploaded for you, mate. I'll get you added to the top tippers. Believe that. Good serve there from Hatchinov. I believe that pushes you up to a, a round 40, which is brilliant. There you go. Yeah, one button, Gene. Let us know. All right, 30 all. Great serve out wide, but Novak's got it back in play. And it's long from the second ball. And it is a break point. Virtual match point, you would have to say. M saying, uh, do I owe you one from last night? Um, apologies. Which one was it? Tell me now. We'll get that added on and we'll get played in this stream. Apologies for that, Ems. You know I'd never do that on purpose. Sorry, it was a bit crazy, I think, last night. Second serves in. Backhand into the forehand of Djokovic. Djokovic is too good and it is the break and Hatchinov restrains himself from a racket smash there. And it is five games to one. Novak Djokovic. Right. Serving for the match. Here he comes. I'm awaiting Gene and M's request. Gene wants Berrettini. <laughs> I've not heard that request for a while. Good one, though, Gene. Good old Matteo. I'll get that uploaded for you. Don't worry, mate. Nice to hear from Berrettini. We've not heard from him in a while. So good that you're keeping him relevant. Just serve his in from Djokovic. Backhand looks long. It is long. So, love 15. Not the start he wanted. And M's wanting a Jabur. Of course, you can have that. After this game, whatever happens, you will get those buttons. Do not worry. 
serve into the net from Djokovic. He's looking around the crowd quite a lot. Must be affecting his concentration. Second serve. Great second serve. And that's just too good. Hatchinov goes long with the return. On the stretch. And this Salmon trainers have not done very uh very much good for him today. They look they look the part, they're not doing the part. Not running quick enough. Great first serve, and it's unreturnable, and it's 30-15. Two points away from the reigning, defending Paris Masters champion grabbing this one. He's got one hour, 22 on the clock at the moment. First serve in, Hatchinov back in play. Big forehand, but it's into the net. It's not good at all from Hatchinov, and it is match point match point match point novak djokovic two of them as well can he get it done first time and the crowd still shouting out while he's trying to do his serve and the umpire still having to tell the they're still shouting great serve blocked back in Djokovic's volley goes long. 40-30. It's going to be a second match point for Novak. Match point. Right. M saying, Karen, what an awful set. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him in the second set. He looked great in the first set. Really played well. Fell, fell down right at the end. Djokovic serving. Misses the first serve. Second serve. Hatchinov not out of this yet. Second serve. Into the backhand of Hatchinov. Now backhand down the center. Hatchinov goes forehand. Now backhand cross court from Hatchinov is a good one. He's playing it into Djokovic's backhand. Now in the forehand. Djokovic on the run, but it's long. Wow, second match point saved from Hatchinov. Playing well. The crowd getting behind him a bit here. He's... And Hatchinov still <clears throat> complaining. There's flashes coming from the crowd. They really need to sort that out. You can't be using flash photography whilst players are trying to play. Djokovic, juice, great serve out wide and a great volley. And he sets up a third match point. Match point. Can he get it done? Lucky number three. The crowd, the crowd still can't be controlled. We're at one hour 25 now. First serves in. Hatchinov's returning. Forehand from Djokovic. Hatchinov's still in it. And Djokovic, a terrible forehand. And it flies wide by quite some distance. And it is back to juice again. Yeah, this is uncharacteristic, especially on the forehand side from Novak. Never see him miss by that, that quite considerable distance, like about this far wide. First serve misses as well down the tee. Is Djokovic a bit rattled here? Is he feeling the pressure? The crowd putting a bit of uh, pressure on him. Good second serve. Good return from Hatchinov. Down the line forehand, but it's into the net from Hatchinov. Match point number four. Match point. Match point number four. He just needs to find a first serve. His first serve hasn't been great today, but winning 86% off of it is pretty good. And he doesn't find a first serve here either. So it's another second serve. If you are just joining us, hit a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And join us for Eager later. The second serve is in. 
And it's long from Hatchinov. And there you go. Novak Djokovic wins here. 6-4, six, 6-1. Six, and he goes through to the quarterfinals where he will face Lorenzo Musetti. Should be an entertaining match. Wow. Just like that. Uh, it flew past in the end. One hour, 27 minutes. Second set. Not sure what happened to Hatchinov. He played so well in that first set. But a bit disappointed, I have to say. It looked like it was going to be a bit more of an epic encounter. Nowhere close to the Hatchinov that would played so well uh, and won the 2018 Paris Masters. But I have promised some buttons to people. I promised one to Gene. Here's Berrettini for you. There he is, Matteo Berrettini for you there, Gene. And also promised uh, to M's. Forgotten what which one it was now. Oh, it was Ons Jabur. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Ons Jabur. There you go. Uh, so this day, even though it will not be really remembered for Novak Djokovic defeating Karen Hatchinov at, uh, at the Paris Masters, it will probably be remembered for the last day uh, of Jill Simon's career. So I want to say congrats to him, obviously, and well done on a, on a great career. He's had some amazing matches spanning over probably about 20 years of tennis. So I want to say well done to him. We'll give him one button press just to send him off because I think it's only fair. Uh, I think he gave a good account for himself in his last ever tournament. And you can't really ask for more than that. Um, I'll just try and find his button and I'll play it for him. If it's in there. It was in there. Where is it now? Unless it's been removed from here. I'll give him a quick play of it anyway. I'll upload it quickly. Then we can give it a quick play. Let's just see um, who we've got. We've got Gary in saying the incomparable Novak Djokovic. Late as everyone. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, JG. No problem at all. Really, really do appreciate everybody who did join for this one. But one send-off button. It'll be Jill Simon. And, uh, well, I, I made it for one stream only it's dedication <laughs> <laughs> Simon, 